Hi, hi. Hi everyone, how are you? How are you? Wow, Karibuni sana. Welcome. Hi, hi. Good afternoon, good morning, good day, uh, good night. It depends on where you are. By the way, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Eh kata kau kagai dana gigi alemu eh, antara gigi alemu deh saya agama wah fisiu gua kahora kahora gay gira, kalau itu lalu nenyo kore kuar reverend Victor, mungkin aku heh hari day gira, oh gua pirika pirika ini saya kuar day gah, kuar ni ni ni, ini kalau ke saya baca bio gua ni gira kumbu kuar mawah fisi Maria, hih makir gua kau dayi nafu lewi tua Kenya, na wohro siwa ikut alemu muka gua guki hokam wedai. Na guhoka na wara hukiriwa wega wewe Kenya na mafurudi mali yato hutha gento shea kama dha Aliyano mekule da ya thifora guhoka ni hedi ya mwa metoro wa gini hedi marokira Age mati ni toro malu taka night shift lakini mungu ni mwaminifu Above all, tuka shokari ya gaigado ni yudo wako hota kutu iga muoyo Na kule investors yo denari ya maigi dhagia na idhue gaya mura adhimi muna makiria ona inyumu gaitheke Todo mure ya duwa goro Na mwaminifu Gawe itu nampak aku, nato nampak tu kena gigi mahir dalam lima hari. Eh, dia kan ura guess ni kuda aku Sheria, nawa egalim muka ke guess. Dia kan ura guess ni kuda aku Sheria. Ah, nago hoka di muka aku ni dah hutau aku he 720p quality. Nge dah tu hutau aku tera tak gak kidogo. Jauh ke kamera ni ni. Eni tu tiga kone kena tu dah ihera iria. Ah, very good. Tuh ni ya desa wan angga ini agit rite nak menjadi aku mari dengan na na dasar yang mau duri ha ha he tak itu yang mula nanya dete mana todo nama duri wama uti keduk yang kata ukur narata mada ini wama tu duri ni ni dia agi semana dia narata mana agak ener angga ini todo tik kawai dah gua semana dia narata ma na nama duri gaya radi mete eh eh deh deh Yee, kuna hilo hiyo? Yee, kidogo nasikia. Nakupata. Unajua nilitaka kuja kujua tu vitu wenye unafanya anga wakati si yuko karibu. Eh. So nikasema nitakuja Abramt kama sijakuambia. Umefanya vizuri sana. Yes. Lakini ile kitu nilikuangusha ni Bella haikulia. Hiyo ndio shida sasa. Kwa hiyo surprise hiyo ni pata. I had to call instead ya kufinja Bella ilie. Lakini Mungu ni mwaminifu na nimefurahi kukupata hapa. Na tupo site. Mm. Mtu amesema tupo site. Lois Lois. Salivika sana mkuu na Regina David. Em nimefurahia kukupata lakini siku nafikiri nitakupata unajua ni mtu wa kazi hapa kazi kule. Almost almost. Eh yeah. kwa hivyo nimebakisha tu kidogo nikukose. Yeah. Ah that's good. Yeah. Em I hope by now you you have you at least you have some small information. Ya ni wapi niko? Na siya mahali pabaya By the way, hapa na itagu aje Hapa ni Roslyn Hapa ni Roslyn Riviera Mall Roslyn Riviera Mall Yes Uu unajua Roslyn Riviera iko hapi Ebutu wana ni watu wangapu wana is a guess Roslyn Riviera iko hapi Watu wajui Kenya Kuna mtu lielezea kuja huku Nama Roslyn ni wapi huko sasa Sija isikia kitu kama iyo Unajua niki mwambia ta niki zema mtu Riviera Eh sasa unajua watu wengi sana wanashangaa ni ni kwani ni wewe sama ni ni Kenya ni wapi huko uh. alafu sasa ile kitu inawacha Riviera Riviera ati hebu niandikie hiyo jina <laughs> namwambia Riviera sasa mpaka nimwambie ni Muru Road nini ya yeah. eh mm -hmm. so nani anajua Riviera iko wapi by the way to be specific aseme Riviera Farudi ila kuanga hapa just mm -hmm. tell us right now Riviera iko wapi 
Watu wengi hawajajua Rivera. Mm. Hata wajui Rivera bado ni mall. Mm. Hawajui. Mm. Mm. So e, tuko Rivera hapa nyuma kidogo. Nimetembelea my good friend. Mm. Eh, yani watu bado wanaomba kazi. Yaki Kenya iko na mashida yake. <laughs> Mungu akumbuke watu wake. Mm. Baadhi ni watu wengi sana wanatafuta kazi. Yeah. Wengi sana. Yeah. Lakini Mungu atatusaidia. Najua yeah. ita, ita, itapatikana tu. Yeah. Yes. So, karibuni sana. Na mungu hii ligi na goihoka made ya nyine mukira ukire mawe raini ule kuagereire. Mm. Desia de mushelie kwa mudhuri ugo ito uh, Alfred. Ajia nyine mumuoe ne mumuona ga ndoka na ke live. No di da mushelie wa afishi. Ito dono yu, by the way, unajua Alfred watu wengi ujiulize, eh, hey, Alfred na kuwa na ofisi. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, nani njabo muhimu sana, watu kujua kama kuna ofisi ya maakuna. Mm-hmm. Uh, unajua watu, watu wengi sana wame, wame koniwa sana, wame, wame wistiwa, mbaka wame ogopa. Yeah. So, ni vizuri pia tunatembea ikuwa maofisi, maofisi kidogo, mm-hmm. at least wanajionea na wana, wanaelewa who is Alfred. Mimi mm-hmm. uh, niliwambia, ni kutana na wewe siku na kujua vizuri na eh ingawaje watu si wa kuaminika lakini singe ku doubt mm. e, maana unajua nimekutana na watu wengi sana kuna yeah. mtu anaweza kutana na yeye kwa mara ya kwanza uone huyu hey, mtu siwezi nikamwamini lakini wewe <laughs> baba zee baba zee kwenu ni wapi kwetu ni machakos machakos wapi kwetu ni machakos mm. pale panaitwa konza konza huko tu <laughs> Niliwaambia huyu anajiki konza unaona kama ni mchezo. Huko ndio kwetu. Watu wengi sana wameniuliza. Watu wengi enda na wewe ushago. Ushago. Watu wengi sana wameniuliza, uko na shamba pale pengine? Nikwambia mimi sitaki kuuza shamba yenye sina history yake. Nataka kuuza chini shamba anajua hakuna shida na hakuna kuja kuambia utakuja kufurushwa. Yaani wewe mwenyewe umelelewa konza. Mimi nimelelewa konza. Mimi nimelelewa konza. I know the history of that property. Kutoka venye ilikuwa mpaka pale imefika. Na mpaka city kija kuingia hey. all the information mm-hmm. yes wow that's so nice mm. um, kujuana na wewe nafikiri ilikuwa jambo muhimu sana yeah. because nimesema hata mimi inachukua plot mbili hapo konza mm. who, who, who sells uh, 84 parcels mm. Alafu unaambia watu nilikuwa nauza konza na hauna kitu. Yeah. Why? It's very risky. <laughs> si hata ume, 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 umezaliwa konza, umelelewa konza yeah. na umeamua kukua investor konza. No hata watu wengi sana in the properties that we are selling mm. are asking me eh, no, no, part of mine is also here. Eh. Siwezi kuuza yote. Eh. This is what I have kept for myself. Eh. So hata kama ungenasebua hata kama zimekata kata unaona ziko marked. Mm. This is what is marked for me. Oh. So sisi ambia tu watu ndio yangu but hey. this what is what marks for me. Wow. Mm. Elijah na Jira David ako na mchezo anasema huyu mzee hanaga mchezo anapea naga hadi gari anaweza kuuzwa anipe. <laughs> <laughs> ni ukweli ni ukweli. Ndio nao ni ukweli. Ah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So Alfred amezaliwa Konza. Yeah. So akiuza Konza, ye uelewa Konza ni nini? Yes. By the way tumeenda kwao na yeah. nikapikiwa ugali ya unga ya kisiagi. Yeah. Na, na muona mnapenda hiyo unga na Alfred uko na pesa. Unajua mm. watu ufikiria ati juu mtu akona pesa hizi kule hiyo unga. It's very nutritious. Baadhi hiyo unga watu wanafikiria tulikuwa tunaikula juu umaskini. Yes. Au <laughs> unaikula it's very nutritious yeah. has the roughage that is needed mm. has the nutrition mm. that is needed. Yaani yeah. Si kama hii ingine kafagara imetolewa sijui nini imetolewa sijui nini. Eh. Hii iko na kila kitu. Mm. Kwa hivyo unakikula yani hata nguvu eh. Eh? Eh. Ata nguvu unasikia iko sawa. <laughs> <laughs> Nijaribu ku adapt lakini nyinyi naona mazoea hizo chakula traditional na nyinyi bado nguvu naona miaka itakuwa mingi. Eh? Miaka itakuwa mingi. Sijua alikuwa anasema lakini unajua pia lazima ukuwe na mtu anakupikia ugali vizuri. Yes. Maana isipoiva ndio maana watu watu wengi wanaichukia. Eh. Yeah. It must take time. It take time. Ni notice wewe umefunza kila mtu kupika hiyo ugali mpaka vijana mpaka nani watu wa side kila mtu anaweza kupikia ugali <laughs> hivi. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, so umezaliwa hapo Konza. Na shule ulienda wapi? Konza? Eh. Mbadhi wacha tujue ka history kidogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to school in Konza around mm. huko. Yaani mpaka shule umesomea huko Konza? Yeah. Nilisoma ya Konza nikatoka huko nikaenda Kangundo. Eh. Nikashomea shule Kangundo nikamaliza Kangundo. Mm. Na zile zingine zote sasa zilikuwa ni za ziada. Mm. Lakini basically nimesomea mm. Machakos. Wow. County. That's so nice. Eh. Hii roho safi uli, ulianza nayo Lindi. Eh. <laughs> Ukisikia kwanza wa mama wanasema huyu Alfred ndio roho safi. Kweli. Wa mama wa Gosayangi. Oh. Eh. eh. 
it, it's a good it's a good observation <laughs> if i can say <laughs> na irene na asilisikie nikisema mama irene please usisikize hii video no ni unajua tu ukikuwa ndani ya yesu na humanity we, we are all human beings mm. and everybody wishes to be treated well kweli hakuna hata wewe sayuki na ku kuongea na mtu ungetaka mtu akuongelesha venye anataka sure. unaona ni vizuri tu uongelesha mtu hata kama yuko chini yuko juu lakini wewe ukasirika kidogo ama ni au ungeniambia barudi nikikasirika uwezi na kuniona kidogo unge, 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 kama na <laughs> nikikasirika nikikas, selo umegusa gari yangu na, na niki drive peke <laughs> <laughs> okay juki <laughs> nguzia gari sana naona sasa tutaka hapo tungojane nini hey. it's not a good thing mm. yeah okay mm. so Um, um after kumaliza shule but then there is a time you told me you, uh, your parents what do you say about your parents yeah um it's a bit personal but mm. uh, that one uh, ilifanyika zamani mm. it's something that uh, um, uh, i was humbled mm. too because my parents passed on when i was a very young child mm. but uh, god has been faithful mm. god has been very faithful uliko mdogo kiasi gani Uh, about uh, 15 years 15 years yes about 15 years uloko mzaliwa peke yako no with my brother mm. yes only... sasa wazazi wako wamekufa in 15 years yes. who raised you na brother yako my grandmother mm. yeah wow mm, my grandma okay. so na huyo kijana wenu nani alimsaidia maybe kufika mahali labda amefika eh By the time alifika uh, shule katikati ndio mm. kuanza kufanya job because at 20 mm. 20 ndio kuanza kufanya kazi so unaona yeye alikuwa kitu kama 6 years 6 mm. years around 7 mm. yeah. so by the time 22 20, 25 ndio kuanza ku stabilize kidogo mm. unajua zamani school fees haikuwa ni kazi mm. na government schools zilikuwa very affordable mm. na zikuwa na kazi mingi mm. yeah so by the grace of god pia alisoma kamaliza mm. mm. what is the hardest thing you went through wakati wazazi walikufa because i know kama kijana mdogo um, everybody would wish to kulelewa na wazazi wake what is the immediate changes that came into your life wakati walienda hali halisi U- unajua um, when you are with your parents mm. even whatever you want you feel like you deserve mm. but hello meachwa um, you are almost uh, alone in the mm. world Mm. ni ni grace tu hata ukiomba mtu kitu na muomba zile za can you, is, it, is it possible mm. but unajua kama ni mzazi wako unamwambia mimi nataka kiatu mimi mm. nataka hii nataka hii mm. so it's it's something that is very humbling mm. growing up it mm-hmm. was very humbling yes. mm. yeah did you had relatives apart from shosh yeah, maybe yeah. to take care of yeah, you yeah i have I had uncles all around mm. And they really came in handy. Mm. Yes. Who took care of your education? Um my, and your brothers. One of, one of my uncles. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Na wewe si ungekaa vizuri uli ulisimama na bro ama? Yeah, bro sasa si ndio kwanza kufanya kazi. Mm. Si ni within uh, by 22 ndio kwanza kufanya job. Mm. So my brother had uh, an easy way mm. of mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And it was such a tough time. Mm. when you hear anyone without parents and you can come through for them mm. please do it mm. because mm. but also i know out here kuna watoto wako na parents and mm. they suffer more mm. than maybe orphans because some of orphans are not more sana na orphans ni unajua ni watoto wa mungu and mm. even god says in the bible mm. these ones are mine mm. ni wangu mm. so our mungu wachunga mm. yeah Okay. Mm. So after wazazi wameenda umesoma umetia BD at 22 ukaanza kazi um, life ili change aje ndio at least ukuwe stable u, uweze kujilea sasa. Sasa show show ameachana na wewe. Sasa ni wewe na maisha yako na dunia. Kazi tu unajua mm. tu dedication mm. being uh, accountable in mm. everything that you are given to do unaona kama sasa hiyo mtu ndo kazi lakini mm. ukishaipata unasahau pale umetoka mm. unaanza kuona oh maisha gani ndio poa mm. nini unasahau watu nyumbani mm. which is not the best thing mm. ukikuwa tu usisahau pale umetoka mm. always remember mm. but not that you should you dwell on that that nilitoseka sasa nishindo na jililia mm. of course remember ndio usikuwa unafanya mistake yeah. and you move and you move on but ukumbuke that 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 is your past mm. and nothing can change it mm. you can only change your future mm. yes okay mm. so brother ko maisha ikoje yuko poa ashaenda university and mm. endelea vizuri pia ishapata kazi mm. anangangana tuna maisha mm. kama everybody akopa kenya 
I am not you abroad. Oh, you wow. abroad. Wow. By the way, hata pengine ana watch. Kwa hivyo ni mzazi mzuri. Ulikisha mpaka ameenda abroad. You go abroad, you go abroad. Wow, that's so nice. Ah, uh, apart from being an investor, mm. tu zinajua uko na shule. Yeah, it likuwa last. Is it last week or last week but yeah, yeah. inaitwa Ahadi. Ahadi school. Ahadi school. Yeye iko pale Joska yes. ya kupeleka watoto wa shule. Yeah. Eh, na by the way, sijui kama wanajua Alfred ako na private school inaitwa yeah. Ahadi school. Yes. Pale Joska. Yeah. Imeanza class? Imeanza baby class. Baby class tu? Mpaka grade 9 sasa. Na tunaingia junior school. Ndio hiyo sasa grade 9. Oh. Grade, inaanza grade 7, yeah, grade, 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 grade 9. <laughs> okay. So ukishamaliza grade 6, hiyo yeah. ndio primary. Oh. So from uh, baby class mm. up to grade 6, hiyo yeah. ndio primary. Ah, okay. Alafu sasa kutoka grade 7, grade mm. 8, grade 9 mm. ndio junior. Ulianza aje? I mean, yeah. unajua nataka uencourage watu wako hapa. Kuna watu yeah. waliachwa na wazazi mm. bado wamebaki pale pale. Mm. Eh, unamuliza mm. kwa nini uko kufa. Kwa nini uko kazi nzuri mzazi yeah. alikufa. Yeah. Siku na, na mtu akunilea. Mm. I want you to encourage these people. Yeah. Kukuwa na shule it's not a simple thing. Yeah. Hiyo si shule kidogo tulizunguka shule kubwa sana. Yeah. I mean managing it. Unauza mashamba. Mm. I mean siri yako ni nini? Unajua hii hii business tu ya shamba ni kitu interesting sana. Mm. One thing that is very very interesting ni kwa sababu mm. ukienda kununua property unaona kuna kitu. Mm. Unasema ah And that time mm. nilikuwa na hiyo shamba tu for speculation ni mm. baadaye niuze ama nifanyie kitu yote okay. kama tu hizi za konza mm. one acre was at 30000 mm. one acre what was 30000 right now one acre is 8 million <laughs> imagine one acre mlikuwa mnanunua 30000 one acre was 30000 kai yeah lakini hakukuwa na mtu wanyama tu <laughs> wanyama <laughs> na kuingiliki na kuna <laughs> barabara hata ukinunua <laughs> next time ukijipeleka umepotea and that's not long ago <laughs> yeah so unaona eh, but um, when i acquire that property nikajiuliza how much can i acquire for myself <laughs> why can i ju- why can i not just build something that can <laughs> help others and also the community okay. because unajua unaweza jua tu hapo pata kuja community <laughs> in future <laughs> and the community for sure came and settled but mm. Mm. before even the community came and settled mm. i took some kids in mm. to help them na that is how sasa kwa sababu shule pia zilikuwa mbali Ikoli. and these kids that i was helping walikuwa nakaa hapo mm. hakuna shule ilikuwa karibu angeanza kuenda mm. so tukaanza tu na shule kadogo mm. ka informal tukatafuta wawili mwawili wakaona wasomesha hapo mm. ndio eventually the idea of now starting the school came in mm. because now hao wametoka sasa hii grade 1 wanaenda grade 2 huku chini kumebaki bila mtu mm. so tukasema oh pia community can come in and start studying and of course mm. that's how it iliendelea uh, ku come up so hiyo shule ilianza na kusaidia ilianza na kusaidia until it became now a real school those kids that we started with kuwasaidia mm. are now kama kuna bunch wamemaliza form 4 mm. last year but one mm. Na in the last year pia mm. na this year kuna wale wamaliza pia form 4 mm. so there are a few kids that we pick up that are very needy mm. very needy maybe mm. orphans also mm. just to give back to the community mm. uh, just to the community i know your big secret is charity yeah, yeah. Uh, people don't know that you help yeah uh, and i think uh almost more than 60% mm. of what you do in life you help yeah uh, could it be the, 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 the biggest secret ya kufanya hizi vitu zote wewe ufanye no ndio nimekuambia growing up um, um, as a orphan as mm. challenges mm. and if you go through it then you mm. understand mm. and if of course unajua si kila mtu anakuwa na hiyo roho ya kusema i will give back if god blesses me mm-hmm. but of course in a way also mm. ni, uh, god blessed me na nikakuwa niko able and i said i will also support someone mm. when you are through the same mm. and of course because of school school mm. ni one of the most basic mm. but one of the major mm. that you can give back to someone mm. and nobody can take it off uh, away from them mm-hmm. so kusaidia tu watu mtu asome apate hiyo education mm. in future mm. atakuwa someone you've given them hope mm. yeah yeah okay mm. 
Wow. Um, mm. ulianza ku so shule bado mm. sasa nimeona unapanua to the junior school. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm, sasa shule iko hapo tumepanua tulikuwa hapo. Mm. Na God has been, has been very grateful. Mm. Ju... So when do you enroll? January, January mm. na ni boarding. Mm. January kuanzia January eh, to hata saa hii mm. because sasa watu kuna wale washa select mm. and there are only a few spots we only have two streams. Mm. There are only a few spots that we can take in. We cannot mm. take in uh, to watu wengi mm. because a class has a maximum number mm. of students that we can take in. Kwa hivyo mtu mwenye na labda hata anatutazama anaweza leta mtoto huko. For sure. Watu wengi sana wamenipigia since our last uh, show tulikuwa huko mm. that they want to bring them and mm. they feel safe because wamesha they wamekuwa wakitu follow. Mm. Or they feel very safe for their kids to come. Mm. And that made a lot of inquiries mm. since also we went with you. Mm. Yes. Okay, so mm. kama unatutazama ungetaka kupeleka mtoto on a private school a hard mm. school Joska yeah. is a very nice school na nafikiri facebook tulifeature and very soon tutakuonyesha pale youtube yeah. um, they are part of the thing, uh, things nani alfred ufanya mm. uh, and that's why ni memleta siku ya leo tumjue zaidi mm. sasa najaribu kumchimba pa ajui na mchimba tu pole pole ni leo nipata off mimi nilikuwa najua ni ofisi tu umekuja ni mbarasa amesema wow i think nitaleta my baby girl huko yeah. akiingia junior high school Mlete. Thank you so Mlete. much. Na sila mungoja mbaka afike junior. Hey. Pali pali yote yuko, mm. just communicate we will mm. tell you if it's possible it's a mm. boarding school in the day school. Mm. But kwa sababu ya distance I know most of you don't live around there. Hey. Eh and you feel that you are kid. Unajua hapa nje kuna lot of influence. Mm. Watoto wako na lot of tunaenda kazini tunawaacha. Sure. Wanatoka shuleni wanakuja wanapata atuko. Mm. By the time we return we've not even seen them. Yes. Homework nobody is helping them. Mm. In our school watu wanakaa hapo na nikusoma na we have a teachers quarter Kwele. where go home late mm. after helping the kids because sure. that's our own goal mm. mtoto apate kitu Kwele. a transformation mm. yenye pia itakuwa na impact mm. unajua formative years are very important sure. ushangoje mpaka afike huko juu hapa mm. tu chini mm. itamsaidia sana okay mm. mtu akitaka kuinkoa hiyo shule ana atapiga namba gani siwache niweke hata namba hapa yeah. sababu labda wako na watoto hapo wanateseka watawapeleka wa, wapi unawaleta na unajua the most safest place yeah The, the, the most amazing thing mm. is that uh, wale watoto pia tunasaidia mm. they don't have to go back home because you see unasikia wana nyumbani oh. so also kama kun diaspora na feel watoto wako mm. they don't have to be going back and forth mm. we also make such arrangements mm. that we take care of them okay and you you are free to call them anytime mm. to find out how they are doing mm. and the environment because that environment is very conducive mm. very very conducive mm. No town, no town close kwa sababu the next closest town is 7 kilometers okay. which is Joska. And then hakuna ba. Mm. Ni hardware tu ziko hapo kwa sababu it's developing. Okay. So unapata mtoto tu yuko shuleni mm. and there is a perimeter wall hey. surrounding the old school. Mm. So mtoto ata aende toka aende. Hey. We've surrounded the school, we've kept it safe. Mm. Na watoto wanakula uh, we have a very big farm mm. where we take our vegetables from our farm. Okay. Unaona kwa hivyo pia hao wanalima wenyewe. Mm wanakula wenyewe they, they learn some skills okay. over the weekend kwa hivyo mtoto aachiliwi tu mtu anataka kuleta mtoto huko a hard school joska the yes. private school yeah. apige namba gani 0706 mhm 00 00 2338 okay mtu akipiga hiyo ata anaweza anaweza uliza inquiry ya kuleta mtoto huko a hard school yes. joska unasema yes. imeanza Eh, nini, baby class kutoka baby class mm. so lakini unajua watu wengi sana wana prefer to wao wanzie grade 3 okay juni wakubwa kidogo wana understand and they can still uh, do some things under instruction okay. hata kama ni kuosha osha kidogo mm. juu tu wanasaidiwa wana kuosha kuoga mm. unaona mm. na just to learn the life skills so nataka uongelesho watu wenye wako diaspora na gaf au mm. ndio wanateseka watoto wao wanateseka sana, sana. au watu wanatafuta pesa lakini hata wakitumia watu wao yeah. haisaidii watoto wao yes. so mtoto akileta wako ako safe mtoto ukimleta hapo first thing ako mm. very safe mm. and then you can do a, u, unaweza fanya follow up huyo mtoto venye anaendelea mm education wise also mm. na health wise mm. na kila kitu because we our, our purpose mtu akikuwa mbali asikuwe mm. na wasiwasi okay. ni mtoto akuwe akuje asome mm. wewe unalipa tu school fees ukikuwa huko mtoto unamuongelesha kama yuko shule whenever you need them to travel back home mm. we facilitate that bora mtu akuja amchukue aizi toka shuleni peke yake mm. so it's a very safe uh, institution in a way that mm. 
you don't have to worry. Mm. Whether you take a car or a new car, it's up to you. Okay. Unaona? Mm. Now we provide all the necessary the necessary things. Then you don't have to carry a car anymore. Because Unaona? wengi wamelia like ni mara wengi wamelia wenye wako gaf. Umetuma pesa nyumbani, yeah. mtoto apelekwa private school. Yes. Unadanganya wako private school, yes. anapelekwa tu kishule na huko na pesa inakuliwa. No. Hii unamleta unatuma shule, unatuma tu shule pesa direct kwa mm. na mtoto yuko shule. Mm. You don't even have to use the parent. Ndio yeah. mtumie pesa. Wewe yeah. tu ongea na parent kama ni kumchukua facilitate yeah. Yeah. hata nauli ya kumtoa shuleni, yeah. tumtuma shuleni tutatumia parent Okay. ampeleke nyumbani na amrudishe mm. siku ya kurudi. Eh. Yeah. Wow, unajua ni vizuri, mi, mi utaka na, na by the way ni vizuri kwa sababu nimekuwa nikiulizwa na watu mm. tupeleke watoto wetu wapi? Mm. Forodhi hujaipata hata shule. Mm. Kuna vitu tatu wanalisumbua nazo. Mm. Ya kwanza ni shule juu sijai wanaunzia shule. Yeah. Ya pili ni uh, motors ya magari yeah. sijai yeah. wanaunzia. Mm. Nini nyingine tunasumbuana na wao? Because I have not yet get reliable source yes. for his of it. Yeah. Unajua Alfred mi by the siku wangu natamaa ya pesa. Mm. Kuna yard mingi sana Kenya. Yeah. But bado sijapata yard naweza fanya nayo. Ili ni kama sasa hivi kuna watu sana wananiuliza magari hapa. Mm. These are friend, two friends of mine wanataka pickups. Siwezi enda tu kwa yard moja ni sema hii yard iko sawa lazima yeah. niichunguze. Yeah. You know Alfred I took time kukuchunguza. Nikajua mm. we mwenyewe unaishi mm. Konza. Mm. Kwa hivyo ukiniuzia Konza na umelelewa Konza at least I understand na nunua yeah. Konza kutoka kwa nani. Yeah. Huyu ni mtu anajua Konza ni nini juu amezaliwa huko Yeah. I took my time kwenda shule yako. Yeah. Ku find out easy details. Hata kama siku na kujua vizuri. Yeah. Nimekuja ku realize uh, it is now the best time kuanza kuambia watu pole pole because yes. tayari nishajua. Yeah. Because method yangu ya kufanya uchunguzi ni tofauti na wengine. Yeah. Mimi uko slow. Siku wangu na haraka. Yeah. Eh, si ati siku jo na shule tukianza kuuza kwanza eh. kwanza one. Eh. But it took me a lot of time yeah. kuhakikisha nikipeleka mtu huko. Yeah. I'm satisfied. Yeah. And I thank God because of that. Yeah. Eh, ni mrasa nasema it's better kuliko kuachia mtoi wangu. Hawakuangalili mtoi mtoi poa team gaf this is the best opportunity. Thank you so much. No, let me tell you. Mm. Kusema tu kweli. Mm. A very honest uh, statement naweza kufanya ni kusema we, mm. we take care of mm. kids. Mm. We really do. Mm. Na Well, of course kuna ile unapata tu watoto unajua ile mchezo ya watoto anaweza pata yeah. kainjari kadogo mm. but as an institution mm. we will take care of that child eh yeah. to make sure hata kama yuko mgonjwa ameenda yeah. hospitali hata mm. kama ameumia ameenda hospitali mm. kama ni chakula nukuloni kama ni sweater na mm. on time mm. kama ni homa mm. we will not give any medication without mm. your authority let's assume mtoto amefunga mm. mama yake yako gaf yes. ama diaspora yeah. hataki huyo mtoto aende nyumbani mahali anakaa shuleni kwa hiyo mnaruhusu akae shule. Anakaa shuleni. Anakaa. Kwani sikuizi si ni one month. Mm. Na anakaa shuleni anasoma. Mm. Kazi yake ni kusoma. Mm. Na kuna playground kubwa kabisa. Mm. Si uliona? Mm. Kuna football, kuna nini? Anakaa hapo akicheza na kusoma. Mm. Na kufanya zile kazi tu zitamsaidia za mkono. Mm. Kama ni kulima kidogo tunalima na drips. Mm. We do drip irrigation. Mm. Maembe ziko hapo, machungwa mm. ziko hapo, kuku mm. ziko hapo, mbuzi ziko hapo. Yaani mm atakuwa very occupied. Hakuna mm. time ya kwenda nyumbani mm. kuanza kuwa ta yuko free, yuko, anaingia kwa drugs, mm. anaingia kwa bad company. Mm. No, the school is still monitoring them. Mm. And I go there every other day. Mm. Every other day I'm in the school. Nikienda Monday, kama sasa when you go on Monday kwa hey. shamba, mm. Tuesday niko huko. Okay. Kama Wednesday niko huko. Mm. Every other day I'm there. Mm. So just to keep a track on benye kila mtoto na chungu. Okay. Yes. Nafikiri nitaenda kama na sort out mashida yao pole pole. Tulisha sort out story ya mashamba yes. sasa wananga pressure. Yeah. They know who to invest with. Yeah. Nisha sasa nataka ku sort out story ya shule. Lakini ujue pia chances si, si watu wengi. Yeah. Wajue tu mm. the first come first serve. Mm. Do classic church kwa kama ni watu 40 stream. Mm. Adwezi yake watu 50. Hey. Taki pia watoto wakue wengi mm. kama kwa public unapata hey. mtoto apatiwe enough concentration. Okay. Juu hata kama mtoto yuko nyuma we accelerate them. Mm. But of course kwa pesi yake mm. si kumkaza mm. at grades grades grades. Okay. okay. Mm. We take them slowly with mm. their pace. Okay. Yom, kila mtoto mm. apate unajua we are all different. Wewe hey. unaweza kuona jua 1 plus 1 mm. ni 2. Na kuna mtu anajua 1 plus 1 ni 11. Juu ni 1 na hii 1 umesongesha pamoja. Mm. But Every child is very special. Mm. Every child is a masterpiece mm. of themselves. Mm. Aizi kwa kama wewe na aizi kwa kama mimi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 
maybe kwa wazazi wanaweza tamani labda kujua last year um, kulikuwa na mtoto hii maybe yako na marks ngapi wa kwanza no siwezi hmm. kuambia mtoto mmoja alikuwa na marks ngapi hey. bali naweza kuambia mean out of mean grade okay. mean grade is what matters hmm. out of just 25 kids hmm. that we had walimaliza hey. which you can come and follow up hmm. unajua ni vizuri kuongea na ukuje Kwali with the uh, with the kitu naweza approve mm. we had a mean grade of 320 320 320 okay we had a few 400s mm. we have so we had so many 300s mm. and just a few 200s okay so that was the balance right yes wow hiyo hata hatukua tuguze hatukua tuguze hiyo is only that nimeona ni kuwe into kuuliza hiyo yeah because if kuna shule mzuri wanaweza peleka watoto mbona nisiwaambie no hapo the the kids will be safe for sure now there's other part na nimekumbushwa na nani na Regina David farudi watu pia wanakuuliza mwenye anaweza wajengea Alfred is an engineer yes some of those secrets nimekaa tu nazo Alfred is an engineer na anajenga na anaweza kutombolea mpaka maji yes. drilling borehole yeah. yeah. ana drill boreholes mm. na bado ni engineer anajenga nyumba mm-hmm. hata yake yeye mwenyewe ndiye amejenga na na si quark engineer hey. not the quark eh? professional, professional engineer. engineer hata last time tukitoa kwa shamba tulipita mahali mnajenga nyumba yes last Precast. was it on last day yes last day tulipita mahali wanajenga nyumba pale at river at river hey. na tunajenga huyo mtu yuko mm. caribbean hey. in the caribbean So tunamjengea nyumba na kitu inaitwa the eh, nyumba iko suspended. Mm. Sasa hakuna foundation. Uh. Kuna wala wana prefer hivyo na anajengewa na precast mm. precast stones which is a very interesting mm. uh, model of building. Sasa itabidi utufunze pia kukua hambo na hizo vitu zote. <laughs> <laughs> Wengine watu tunasumbua nchi na vitu kidogo. Tukienda tukienda konza na wewe. Tukienda konza na wewe hey. tutapita hapo. Waone tu juu hey. huku ashutia. Hey. You didn't do, uh, shoot any video. Yeah, sure. But mm. imagine nyumba um, ya four bedroom hey. mpaka hapa kwa ring beam mm. juu. Mm. So unaona before roof. Yeah, sure. Inatumia less than 10 bags. Na kuna yani nyumba za kuhang. Eh, no, no, isha hang foundation isha kuja juu. Uh-huh. Lakini nyumba mpaka hapa kwa ring beam uh-huh. inatumia less than 10 bags. Ya ya paste. Hiyo nyumba inaitwaaje? Ya paste. Hiyo kujenga hivyo. Ni suspended two houses from the, gr- the from the ground kwa sababu utaki mm. remove cotton. Mm. So if you want to remove the cotton, una suspend But tuju. any type of a house yenye unataka mnajenga. Any type of a house. Yeah. The way you want to mm. every person is different. Mm. Kila mtu anataka kujengewa nyumba na style yake. Lakini mbona Alfred kwani ni machakos? Kwa nini kwani usii moranga? Usijazoea mkamba na hizo vitu zote kama mbona na mnatuulizanga nini by the way watu ufikiria kitu niwezi juu ya vitu mingi wewe uko na vitu mingi hata kunilipo no ni hiyo tu situation ya hiyo tu situation ya bringing everything together ndio hey. uweze kufanya kitu because now you see now kila kitu ni wewe au unajua kama sasa uko na wazazi you know maybe your father will do hey. one or two hey. ama sasa unajua uko na mama hey. unajua ah mama ta take care of that hey. but if you have to take care of things hmm. Also build up to be hey. paid. Yes. Can we do anyo kona pesa hawana ga story mingi. Watu wenye hawana they are empty debts make a lot of noise. Au umetulia tu? Yeah, um, nashukuru, oh. nashukuru. Anyway. Mm. Asi by the way nilisikia precast iko cheap and faster. Exactly. Yeah. Regina David inaonekana wewe uko na information. Fundi wawili. Mm. Fundi wawili mm. in three days. Start so, tuonyesha so ile siku tutaenda huko yeah. tuonyesha hiyo precast venye inajengwa. Yeah. Yaani ile speed inaenda nayo. Yeah na ni farm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Ha, Mungu ni mwaminifu. Mm. Christine Shiko Konza ni commercial ama residential. By the way let's go let's go back to the uh, our main story. The main. Ya Konza. Yeah. So um na naona titles iko hapa. Yeah. yeah. Unataka kusema hizi titles ile shamba tunauza? Hizi. Uh. Unaona hizi titles unaziona hapa hizi. Eh. All that you see here. Eh. Are all under my name. Aha. Uh-huh. But kwa ile shamba tunauza. Wewe hey. ukishanunua mimi mm. nafanya tu transfer. Moja. Onyesha hizi title zote. Hizi zote. Hizi zote ndizo tunaita yeah. Pinaco Gardens. Hii ndio Pinaco Gardens. Kwa hivyo ziko tayari. Ni ku transfer tu. Wewe unanunua mimi naanza process ya transfer. Unipatie tu the rest of the things that I need to transfer. Yaani wewe umejipanga. Yeah. Unanu si ati tunasumbuana ati miezi sita tunakimishana title. Eh. Hey. Unanunua mimi na present. Unanunua mimi natuma. Unanunua natuma to the lands wow. inakuja kama iko tayari pinaco gardens yeah. this Konza. is pinaco gardens and it's ready ndio niwaambiaga watu mm. this is ready mm. 
Kwa hivyo kinunua sasa tunasumbuana sana ukimaliza. Okay, Send me the details. Mm. Mimi tume huko. Eh, so when we talk of red title This yeah. is what we call this is red title. title. But all of them, pengine hata mnaweza soma, yeah. they are all under my Alfred name. Alfred Bahati Musawa. Yes. Good. All of them are under my name. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. But sasa ukianunua inatoka kwa jina, mm. inaenda kwa kwa jina yako. Yeah. Then it becomes yours. Mm. And then you come collect. Yeah. Kuna wale washa kuja kwa ofisi uka collect title zao. Mm. And uh, of course maybe you can also on the testimonials they mm. can write. Mm. Yeah, it's not been a very hard process for us. Na naona wengi wakisema ile treatment wanapoa kikujia titles. Jui eh unajua watu wametoka mbali tena wanakuja lazima tuwashughulikie. Ni kweli. Lazima tuwashughulikie. That's so nice. Yeah. So, let's go back to Pinaco uh, Gardens Konza. Mm-hmm. This is a project that is 3 kilometers away, I mean 3 minutes away from Konza city. Yes. Ha- 800 meters from Mobasa Road. Mm. Tell us more about Pinaco Gardens. Ile tumefungua tu juzi na yeah. Pastor Garuya. Yeah. Mm. Unajua kwanza uh, and many, many of the times I'm very thankful mm. kwa sababu watu wametusupport sana. Kweli. Na tumejaribu pia kukua as honest as we can. Mm. Because I try to shambo kwa diaspora ukikuja eh. unashangaa ah watu walikuwa nasema hivi mm. tena si hivi. Yeah. From here this office. Mm. Using the express yeah. which we are in Limuru Road. Mm almost near Ruaka. Mm. Is 1 hour 16 minutes. 1 hour six, kutoka hapa tuko Riviera. Li, Riviera. 1 hey. hour which is near Ruaka. Mm. Ama Ndenderu. Hey. Whatever ukipita tu hivi upita Red Hill mm. uingie Express. 1 mm. hour 16 minutes hey. uko Konza. Mm. Yeah. From here to the from the Konza to the airport mm. is 40 minutes. Wow, from Konza to airport yes. JKA. Yes, it's 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Unaona? So meaning from town is around 50 minutes yeah. between 50 to 1 hour yeah, kutoka yeah. Nairobi town yeah using the express kama kuna kuna express we unaona eh ukitumia express tunakuambia unajua mm. most people in the diaspora also mm. are looking for a prime property sure a prime property where they can also build maybe a home mm. they can also build maybe build an office yes they can also maybe build an apartment a, maybe even a school mm. you so this is commercial and residential yeah as maybe well. even a school you mm. know you only get approvals from the county and they give you whatever you want to build bora <laughs> it is to their standards mm. kwa sababu city kwa hapo utaki mm. kutenda kujenga nyumba eh, 70 za ghetto mm. unaona kuna watu wanajua kutengeneza pesa haraka sana anapiga mabati kama mia hii line mia hii line na watu wanaingia na anaweka milango na anaweka milango unajua kuna watu wako chap chap kwa kutengeneza sure. pesa but mm. of course they don't want to water down mm. this place mm. they want it to at least have the value mm. they put on the other side hey. so it's a place where you can build a home mm. maybe be, be uh, buy for speculation mm. unaona kwa sababu unasikia i have just told you that i bought a property at 30000 yes now it's appreciated to so much mm. kwa hivyo nakuambia even when you buy now by the time you come back to kenya sure you can imagine mm. what what uh, the cost of konza will be mm. when you arrive <laughs> Turali horo wa Konza ino tura tura higuri reto Pinaco Gardens Konza and you know by the way Alfred Yashiri roko uh, kwa ogesha gine Konza ni tuthiete ginya ku tukaringa murimo uh, to how by the way how to ready ari tihara ihu naho maybe 10 minutes haya eh ritoke dia Konza city no only the most interesting part kana toke dia Konza e dage kaida to kuma konza city konza city ni project ya adrikali itakuwa konza um, international techno city kuma city no ri guka ha ni dage kaida to na nyito horoshi kuma mobasa road guka ha project ni itone mita magana manana kogwa we mugoda ni ro na mobasa road we mugoda ni o gabatani ni uko na konza city um na odoshio gine tiriri Nuno kikura kwa na by the day meba wa konza wa wa goko radio de meba wa pina ku gardens mm-hmm. ama member waambie ukweli yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. nimeamua kukuwa member yes. with not just one plot yes. but two <laughs> eh yeah. na ni kitu niliamua last time tukiwa kwa show yeah. because ni nafikiri sikuwa na ni, ni, sikuwa na revelation yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> i got a revelation mm-hmm. nikashindua yani dread ya kindo kindo ka idato kuma konza city na dirahura no kwedi dina hakiri ka kweli So uh, my beneficiary of two plots they in wa Pinaco Gardens Konza mm. and I can't regret because imagine investing very minutes from Konza city ai ko wakereta mothai ga mundu wa ngai ere ko go tokoro de neighbor aku na doi this project of kiri size ko almost half no see almost half we are more than half we are over half 
over half in fact kuna zenye kuna one uh, our friends wanamjua nimekuambia tu sahi hey. i mean she just wanted some clarification oh. so it was going back about 20 or something ah yeah ya le pila kuri ni kanya makare wigua gagesha makani eh kanya magesha makani so if you wanted pinnacle gardens number one is a prime project prime ile wakati juu kama kuna shamba nyingine imekaribia kwanza ijanunuliwa mimi sidhani yeah yeah most of the people wenye wako mbele yetu wameuza karibu wote yeah so um tena nakwambia mzee hana amani huko i need it ni christian shiko let me tell you nyimani wazee amani Eh uh, I'm still in conversation na wanyambura nijue kama moja itaandikwa yeye ama nitaandikwa zote mbili bado sijaamua sababu pia siku nilimwambia nikinunua yeye alisikia nikitaja live yeah eh yeah eh uh, naweza taka pia yeye at least akuwe beneficiary because um, najua sijui nani alisema wazee lazima wakufe mbele ya mama No unajua ni kwa sababu what happens? unajua what happens <laughs> maybe god anajua hiyo code hey. but just my own opinion hey. Unajua mama are very loving. Uh-huh. Na pia wazee pia ni loving. Sijasema si wao wako loving. Ah tuambie tu kweli. No, si si wapake nini mafuta. W- unajua kama wazee si loving. Sema tu kweli. W- wazee wako loving. But unajua mama wako loving zaidi. You know. Ukisema wazee si loving. No, God. Unajua nani alikuwa yeah. role ya kupenda? Yule ni kusubmit. Ni, mama aliambiwa uh, 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 Sema they are submissive. Usisema they are loving. Uh, husbands love your wives. <laughs> husbands love Husbands love your wives. Hiyo ndio Mungu alisema. Lakini mama pia wanapenda zaidi. Shida wanafanya ile kazi hawakupewa. Wana apana? Kwa nini? Wanaambua submit. Hiyo tu. Eh. Sisi tupende. But it's not possible. Sasa sisi tulikosa kupenda, wakaanza kupenda, tukaanza kusubmit. Walikuwa already na love. That's why walemwa to submit. Sasa <laughs> ulipata mwanaume anapoa sheria kwa nyumba, ufike yeah. saa moja. Yeah. Alianza kusubmit. <laughs> <laughs> ni ngumu. Mm. Kuna watu wanauliza ni how much? Now interesting mm. people would think kitu iko 3 minutes away from Konza set ni expensive. Yeah. Kwa nini Alfred akuagi expensive? I want to clarify this kwa sababu kuna mtu amekuwa kuna mtu amenuliza hiyo swali. Mm. Nikamwambia Alfred despite of having this Hekalo company. Yeye yeah, yeah, si zile kampuni unaonanga zikiuza mashamba. Mm. Why? Yeye yeah, yeah, amezaliwa hapa amelelewa hapa amenunua shamba hapa. Kwa hivyo akiuza hauzi kama kampuni, anauza kama an individual. It's only that you have to open a company to sell through the company. Lakini yeye hana tamaa ile huwa na makampuni because we said kuna kampuni ziko hapa. They are very expensive. Kuna kampuni zinauza kwanza saa hizi and mm. they are very expensive. Why? Mm. They are in business. Mm. Alfred is more of charitable things than business. Mm. Kwa hivyo hata ikifika ni shamba yeye ndiye mwenyewe alijinunulia. Unajua mm. most of the companies wanakuja wanunua shamba kama saa hizi wakati iko juu. Mm. So wanaipeleka juu zaidi. Mm. Yeye yeah, alinunua zikiwa cheap. Kwa hivyo haipeleki juu kama wale wengine. Mm. So if you realize by the way angalia zile kampuni zote zinauza konza mm. and you tell us. Mm. Yeye yeah, yeah, ni mzaliwa huko alinunua kitambo. Kampuni zenye zinauza zinanunua saa hizi. Mm. Kwa zinanunua ikiwa juu lazima ziongezee ikuwe juu zaidi. Mm. That's why Alfred is not expensive. Yeah, exactly. So, how much is 50 by 100? How much is one plot? Tunauza 950k cash. 950k cash. 1 million installment. Installment uh pay a deposit ya 200k. Imagine it is a deposit ya 200k. How? Atutaki kukupea pressure. Mm deposit ya 200k mm-hmm. the rest pay in 6 months 6 months sawa sawa wacha nikuwekee namba ukuja inbox tukutumie map pinako ni kuisha inaisha tuliifungua mm-hmm. is it two weeks ago or three weeks ago less than a month ago less than a month ago ndio tulifungua pinako gardens mm-hmm. saa hizi ni kuisha inaisha mm-hmm. itaisha tu ukiangalia tu imagine itaisha tu Mm. Acha nikupea namba. Mm. You can inbox mm. me Farodhi. Um call ama u inbox. Eh Eh kwanza unapiga ngoja kidogo. Call ama u inbox. Inbox Farodhi uh, or Alfred. 
Namba Alfred ni gani? Ni hiyo tu tumepeana ya shule. Same same, same same. Same number. Yeah. Same same. So eh Selona nipigia you must clarify ni shamba ni shule. Ni shule ama ni shamba. <laughs> so be clarify. Yeah. Sasa tumesema ukitaka kuleta mtoto wako a hard school is a safest place you can do uh, you can bring your child kwa sababu pia holiday kama utaki aenda kwenu wacha mm. kae shule and na kwa safe and in, in case uko na the the video that we took with Barodhi on hey, Facebook hey. ask for it and then maybe utakuwa shared na yote actually tunawekea mpaka youtube yeah utaekewa hapa au utaeka hey. hapa yeah. yeah so at least you can follow through sure yeah. so title hiyo hizi naonyesha tena yeah zote ziko hapa zote kwa hivyo ni kufanya tu transfer ni hizi yeah we are very transparent kila kitu iko kwa meza yes we only need to transfer this to e. your name ukitaka tupeleke mtu wako site yeah coming saturday coming saturday tunampeleka saturday kuja tumpeleke yeah eh ukishamaliza kununua the next thing ni ku process title hiyo yes. hii hapa hatuendi yeah. kutafuta iko hapa yeah. tunafanya tu transfer yeah sorry naisha na maisha inarudi kawaida. Mm. So sijipe pressure ukienda kutafuta kampuni za mashamba zenye haujui, yeah. unaona watu unaelewa, watu unajua. We have delivered so, two projects so far. Exactly. Two projects kwanza one na kwanza two tuliuza na nyinyi mkanunua tukawapea title na zikaisha. Mm. Tuko kwanza three ndio tunaita Pinaco Gardens. Sawa sawa. Ay ay ay. So what else? So yeah uh, so just uh, decide and uh, do uh, your research also yeah. about us usikimbie tu ufikiri you will just uh, just call ask any question yeah. whatever you're not comfortable with ask us tell us unataka tukwambie gani tutakwambia tu we'll, yeah. we'll walk you through everything yeah. whatever you need to know I was an in IT department in Konza project it will not be affordable soon of course yes yeah Yeah. By the way let me tell you. Unajua hadhari kuambia watu ukweli. Mm. Um, right now tunakuuzia 950 cash, 1 million installment. Very soon. Si uliona kwanza inajengwa. Yeah. Tumewaonyesha kwanza na najua hizo video bado watawekewa. Mm. Watu watashtuka. Mm. Kwa sababu watu walikuwa wafikiria kwanza haijengwi kwanza mm. city. Mm. Uh, by 2025 tuliambo itakuwa ishafika nusu. First one over. Phase one itakuwa imeisha. Over and in news. Imagine venye tu inajengwa, venye tu shamba yako inazidi kuongezeka yeah, pesa. Yeah. And that's why I chose to be By the way, let me tell you one. Thing. Eh. Do you know mm. when we were building the school in Joska? Eh. All the properties around were the same. Na hii ni shule tu. Sure. All the properties were around there eh. were the same rate. Mm. Nikaeka ka building ka kwanza, mm. same rate. Eh. Mwaka ikaisha nikaeka ka building ka hivyo pole pole tu. Mm. Right now. Uh, Ata ule yuko. Ndio nilikuwa naambia rafiki yangu jana. Eh, I wish I knew. Mm, kwanza singejenga kitu yoyote. Mm, Ningenunua tu mashamba ninunue tu mashamba ninunue zenye nitanitosha. Sure. Alafu ndo nianze kujenga. Eh, But you know you can't do that because you don't know you don't know what will come to. Of course yes. Now. Unajua watu ufanya na uoga. Value mm, even just because of that school being there. The value also as stima imekuja. Oh. Stima iko hapo. Eh. Kila kitu iko hapo. Mm, Sasa unajua pia value imeenda juu because mm, community pia imekuja karibu hey. so what, the moment you wait for things to come sure. then also the prices go up alright na ndio maana hata mimi nikaamua kukua ndani yes hey. yeah kwa sababu mm. ni vibaya sana uko unaambia watu mimi hiyo kwanza set nimeingia mpaka ndani hey. i mean si hata siku moja nikuja nijenge apartment hey. oh uni, yo university inaitwa kaist kaist hiyo inajengwa huko ndani kwanza set yeah. nipatie wanafunzi nyumba za kuishi yeah. una fikiri siku hizi kufanya hesabu kufanya kazi na wanafunzi inakuwa rahisi aje si, kujenga ukitaka tu wanafunzi yeah. ya ai mm. alafu pia ma airbnb saa hizi ndio zinakula yeah. mm. na by the way unakuwa na airbnb niko na airbnb yani huyu mtu wewe wewe ni nani by the way mimi sikujui <laughs> Umri ndani bana ako MB abu abu advertise no yeah tuko na Airbnb kadha so eh. e, e, unajua tumefika sub <laughs> tumefika winter huko kwenu na huko huko kwetu si baridi eh. ngikuja nipigieni ndaonesha eh. pale mtaishi nipigieni tu naziko environment uwezi Zuri. uwezi avoid yani yeah. Yeah. Uwezi avoid yeah. na si mbali na bahali nimekaa yeah. ziko tu hivi <laughs> nona Riviera Susan Riviera ziko tu hapa hivi karibu. <laughs> eh, hey. yani huyu mtu sijui ni nini. Ama tujenge mingi tu, tu ah watu watakuja wa, tunawapatia mahali pa kukaa. Unajua sasa nikwacha nikwambie hey. hata hao watu wenyewe mm. unajua kwanza city inakuja. Hey. You just believe in there. Mm. 
unajua pila mtu anataka pia wataki makelele ya tawa. Sure. Unataka pali pako safe. Hey. Na pali pako. Yaani unajua uko sure, hey. usafi nyumba imejengwa vizuri, hey. unaona? So even as you build now, mm. unaweza hata kupata tu ka Airbnb mtu ameenda hapo, mm. wa anaenda umeka ka swimming pool hapo nje. Mm. Unajua? Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. Hakuna mtu impossible. Bora tu ni kujibu. Bora nilikuwa nimesahau. Ah, unajua <laughs> ni sawa, iko sawa. Ako na ya BNBs na na, na, na sio kidogo. Mm. Eh. So, ikiwa uko Kenya ama una plan kukuja, please call Alfred. Mwambie sasa Alfred sikiza. Eh, najua ni network inatusumbua kidogo, lakini si mnasikia sauti. Eh, call Alfred. Mwambie sasa utampigia juu ya shule ama ya BNB ama yeah. shamba. Mm. Anything mm. zote yako nazo. Mm. Na nafikiri siku moja tutakuja kufanya hiyo video ya ya BNB. Mm. Nadi kali niliingia hizo rooms. Wa hey. kama nitaingia moja niwachukulie ka video saa hizi wacha nione nifikiria. Eh. Mm. Nyinyi mnacheza na watu bwana. <laughs> <laughs> Ni hasla. You are the real lazima ulikuwa na support hasla government. Eh kama huko una support naweza shangao ulikuwa support kwa sababu ya mwenyewe ni hasa vitu legit mm. na Alfred si mtu wa shortcuts yeah. ni mtu legit mm. kila kitu so in case hata unahitaji usaidizi wowote yeah. unaweza tumia Alfred unajua kuna ofisi ya Alfred anaweza fika siezi fika mm. unaweza mconsult na tumesaidia watu wengi mpaka na lawyers yes eh. mm. so mm. anyway chukua namba ya Alfred hapo na yangu Shamba Airbnb na shule unataka kupeleka mtoto Ahadi School Joska Eco Private School na anazidi kuifanya ikue ile mbeke zaidi. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much. Shishi Israel bado tunaenda. Yeah. Siku bado zinakaribia. Najua uko rada sijui kama wewe ni amongst wenye wanaenda. Kama wewe si amongst. Eh. Ah yeah. uh, sijali. Siko <laughs> <laughs> na imani. Airbnb ziko. Mm-hmm. Eh ziko. Ziko tu hapa within. Unaona hapa tu kwa Riviera hapa hapa within. Mm. Eh kwa hivyo ujue ni classic. Bali u charge pesa ngapi? Ah uh, ina depend. Mm. Ina depend kama mm. ni ni watu wangapi, eh. ni siku ngapi. Hivyo, mm. something like that. Okay, kwa hivyo yeah. mtu apige. Unapiga tu simu alafu tunakueleza. Eh maana kuna watu wengi sasa hivi wanakuja sama. Yeah. Juu ya sama so I think we have so many guests. Ana Joyce 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 Ngugi amefika. Mm. Nani yako huko Mgojero wako huko? Felix yuko huko. Felix yuko huko ni wengi yeah. so um, bas skia shishi asema mnaenda lini amin kairo i want to meet pastor <laughs> tutawaambia tu mm. si tuko hapa na nyinyi mm. before wiki ishe ama unatupata tu ground ama utapata ground tuko site <laughs> <laughs> tukupigia tukua site mm. kila zima tuenda live kila mahali yeah. na sio bado tutafanya nini wifi sisi tutatuta room tu Oh, tutaroa mama. Unajua sisi ni watu wa kwenda live kwa hivyo lazima pia tujipange mapema. Tutaroa. Tusienda kuchanganyikiwa tukua huko. Eh, tutaroa. Eh. Si, Tutaenda tu roaming na tuseme tu mm. wacha ibili kwa ni bill. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. So thank you so much. Tunawapenda sana. Mm. Eh, at least tumeona ofisi nini Alfred. Title ndio hizi, kila kitu iko sawa. Yeah. So Pinaco Gardens inaisha. Jipange haraka haraka kuja inbox tukutumie map maisha ikuwe mzuri namba ndio hizo 0798008008 ama 0706002338 santeni sana bye bye god bless you